Hello everyone, this is Lat with Teal Street. Today I'll be doing a short video on how to add a Femex API key to Teal Street. So on the left you can see I have Femex opened and on the right I have the Teal Street desktop app open as well. So if you haven't done already, log in to both your Femex account and your Teal Street account. On the left, on Femex, we're going to go up here and click API management. We're going to click create a new API key and we're going to select default API entry as Teal Street requires a number of whitelisted IP addresses. We can click next and we'll select bind IP. Over here on Teal Street we're going to click API keys at the top and then new API key. Under the exchange drop-down menu, let's navigate down and choose Femex. You can see here are the four IP addresses for whitelisting. These are required to link Femex and Teal Street. We can copy it by clicking and we'll go here and we'll paste it under IP addresses. For name, we need to choose a nickname and this will be listed only in the Femex website. I'm going to call it main. And for permissions, I'm going to choose trade permissions. Once we click next or confirm, we're going to need to enter our two-factor authentication key. So I'm going to pull up my app and locate my two-factor key. Go ahead and type that in. All right, so now we have our ID and API secret. On the Teal Street side, we need to go ahead and choose a nickname for this Femex API key. I'm going to call it test. Next, we need to choose an encryption password. And this password is completely separate and different from your Teal Street login password. This is linked only to the specific API key that you are creating on this page. If you want to learn more about Teal Street's API encryption password, you can go to our docs.tealstreet.io page, and on the drop-down menu, under Connect, you can choose API encryption. And this will give you a short readme on how the encryption password works and what it accomplishes. Next, we have to choose an API encryption password. We're going to select or copy the ID, also called the key. And next is the API secret. We can paste that in there. I'm going to go ahead and click already recorded and saved. And you can see now under Femex's website, it's listed uh, as an active key. I'm going to click create. And there you go. It's saved and it's working. If it doesn't submit, make sure that you have the IP whitelist addresses correct on both Femex's site and on the Teal Street site. We're going to select Femex from the API drop-down menu, and it's going to prompt us to type in our API encryption password that we created or chose when we created the Femex API key on Teal Street. And you can see that it loads, and I don't have any money in this account, but uh, normally, once your API key is linked properly, you'll see your margin balance loading correctly. If you don't see it, make sure that you're on the right pair as something like a linear contract that's based on USD or USDT is going to show a different balance than an inverse contract that uses something like Bitcoin as margin. And last but not least, remember things like your API secret, API key, your two-factor authentication. These are very sensitive things. Never share them with anyone. Always keep them private. And worst case scenario, you can always delete your API key and add a new one. And that's going to complete the video for today on how to add Femex to Teal Street. Thank you for listening. Bye.